all right, I want to talk about something. I want to talk about this thing right here. And y'all have one, and I'm sure you're like, what is that? Was that a mistake? Was that a piece of trash? No, um, this is actually a finishing tool. It's a synthetic chamois. Um, and I use synthetic ones here in class uh, just because, as you might be vegan, um, because other chamois is made out of leather, like a really soft leather. And this is actually attached to a cork here um, so that it could be thrown into a bucket of water and you don't lose it. This is specifically helpful on the potter's wheel um, or anybody who likes to use a lot of water. But that's the first thing that you need to do is actually take this tool. Um, yes, this is a tool and you're going to submerge it in water, let it take on a little bit and then you wring out the excess water. So this tool right here is awesome for finishing surfaces, particularly on utilitarian forms, but it's great for a lot of sculptural stuff too. So right now it's really flexible, it's very soft, and it won't leave fingerprints. So for example, when you're thinking about like a cup and you think about what it means to drink out of a cup, if you think about it, it's a very intimate experience where you're bringing the vessel up to your mouth and you're kissing it. And when you think about the shape of the lip of a cup, it should really echo the shape of your own lips because you may not have realized it, but when you're drinking from a cup, your mouth is actually closed. And so, for example, a lip like this, while it does look pretty nice. Um, it still could be refined quite a bit, but while it does look pretty nice, um, it's really not very functional for drinking out of because your mouth would need to be partially open to drink out of it. Um, when your mouth is closed or when you're drinking, your mouth actually takes this sort of a shape. Like this is your upper lip and this is your bottom lip. It makes this little V shape. And so when you're making the lips on cups, it's important to think about how the cup lip will interact with that V shape. That is a great way this tool comes in handy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, because again, this is the shape that I'm looking for, I'm going to basically make that shape with the chamois or samois in between my fingertips. And so I'm going to rub it back and forth and really soften that edge or address the lip, if you will. And you can see how much more natural and beautiful that appears, much more inviting. Now, I do accumulate slip, so I need to make sure to give it a quick little rinse. Otherwise, you're just gonna be pushing slip around and that won't do anybody any good. You don't wanna use too much water or you will erode away the clay. Um, and those small particles of clay that would be eroded away if you use too much water, are actually the ones that make it smooth and soft. So I'm going to first work on the inside part of the cup. And you may notice that this is actually causing the cup to flare outward just a little bit. And that's more comfortable for drinking. Yes, I could make it into a cylinder and I still could do that uh, by adjusting the form in other ways. Um, but this is a pretty elegant approach. So first I'm going to address the inside and then I'm going to really think about what I want the outside of the lip to be like. I've got it doubled too much. So now I'm going to run over the surface and you can see how much more comfortable an edge like that would be versus an edge like this. So using this tool, the chamois, <laughs> you can call it a Sammy if you'd like, um, is a great way to finish not only lips, but also foots. So this is where I was playing around with foots before. I can go back and I can actually uh, refine and define certain cuts that I've made or certain sculpts that I've made, whatever it is that I, I had fingerprints, if I don't want those, maybe I want it to be smoother or slick, you can go back with this tool and you can really 
address them to make them look very intentional, very finished, and very clean. When you're finished with this tool, you just clean it, set it out to dry, and then it'll be hard once again, ready to be used whenever you are.